Look, selling your house can be creepy enough, right? Just simply all of the things that are involved with that. And if it's haunted, there may be a few added responsibilities. Do I have your attention? Don, Don Alvarez from Radix Law. I don't think in the 116 years that I've been doing interviews on radio and television, I've ever talked about selling your haunted house. I mean, Halloween is quite a distance away now. Uh, is this real? It is real. There have been instances and cases involving haunted houses. Courts don't decide whether the house is haunted. They decide whether or not the fact that it's haunted or believed to be haunted or represented to be haunted is a material fact that a potential buyer should have been aware of or should have been made aware of. Well, as the seller, what's my obligation? If you're the seller, you have no duty to disclose potential ghosts, uh, natural or intentional deaths such as murder, suicide, or crimes being committed. I'm sorry, th those, those are not those are not chuckle kinds of subjects, but I've got to tell you, you made me laugh because here we are talking about not just poltergeists and things that go bump in the night, but you're talking about real crimes that I don't have to disclose. There's a statute that says that, but with respect to there's the statute does not mention haunted or ghosts. If it is haunted, in other words, if some physical or other type of manifestation of haunting has occurred, or if you've publicized it as a haunted house, then you do have a duty to disclose it because it may very well be material. Uh, we have in Arizona a seller's property disclosure statement that potential sellers fill out to advise the buyers of all kinds of things with respect to the home. There's nothing in there that says anything about ghosts or haunting, but the catch-all question at the end says, is there anything else that may be material or important for the buyer to know? Now, how do you determine what's material? Well, what happens if I'm asked? If you're asked, you have to disclose. You have to give a complete and, and honest answer. If you believe, as if, let's say you're selling your house, Pat, and you, were, and you put yourself in the shoes of a potential buyer, what would be material to you that you would like to know if you were buying that house, then you have a duty to disclose it. And the courts will determine what they, what they think is material that you should have disclosed. And a lost sale is a lot better than getting a lawsuit. Yeah, I mean, in your long and distinguished career in the field of law, though, have you ever had anything to do with the sale of a piece of property that might have been haunted? No. <laughs> Do you expect to between now and Halloween? It would be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can tell you is I suppose probably if we have questions, we could always go to the Radix Law Firm, right? You could, yes. Spelled how? R-A-D-I-X. And by the way, my understanding is, is that it might even be an advantage if you say, hey, this has a reputation for a haunted house. Just a little added pizzazz there, huh? As the, some surveys with the uh, Realtor.com have shown, there are people out there that would like to buy a haunted house. And you know what? Black cats are often associated with spooky things like haunted houses. 